In this video, I'll show you exactly how to upload a video to YouTube from your computer for beginners. I'll show you what options to select so your video gets the best chance of success. This video is for you if you're just starting out on YouTube or if you've already uploaded videos to YouTube but want to make sure you're selecting the right options. The first thing you need to do is open your browser and go to YouTube.com. But before we get into it, you first need a YouTube channel. If you don't already have a channel, then go ahead and set one up. And if you need help, I made a video on just how to do that. And I'll leave a link to that in the description below and also a link on this video somewhere. So once you have your channel set up, go to youtube.com and there's actually three different places where you can go to upload a video. The first way you can upload a video is right from the youtube.com homepage. Up here in the top right, there's this create icon right here, the create button, click on that, and then you can upload a video from here. Alternatively, you can go to YouTube Studio. Now you can either get there by typing in studio.youtube.com into your browser or from the youtube.com page, click on your avatar here and scroll down to see till you see YouTube Studio. Click on that and that'll take you into YouTube Studio. From here, and this is the way I usually do it, I'll go to YouTube Studio first, but there are two different places where you can go here to upload your video. The first one is up here in the top right again. You see this create button. You can click on that. Or the last place I'm going to show you is this up arrow right here. If we click on that, that'll bring up the upload video screen. We can either drag a video from another monitor, if we have a, a second monitor, onto this page here, or we can just click on select files here. Then locate your video file that you would have already made, you would have already edited it in your favorite editing program. It's an MP4 file. Select that here and click on open. And that's it. Our video is uploading to YouTube. While the video is uploading, that's when you can finish the rest of this process. Down at the bottom here, you'll see that it says the video is uploading. It'll give a percentage that it's uploaded and also it'll show how many minutes are left. So the first thing you want to do here at the top is you want to settle on your title. Okay, so it always defaults to the file name that we're uploading. So in this case, it was storytelling. That's not a great title. We want to include a few more keywords that have to do with what our video was about. So in this case, why don't we go ahead and type in a, a new title. Next, you want to enter a description of your video. As you can see here, I've already got one filled in and that's because I had it set up as a, as a preset, like a default description, and I set that up in my settings. And you can do that over here, but I actually covered that in my last video where I described how to set up your channel. So again, I'll leave a link for that down below or up above here if you want to check that out and have your own presets set up. But if you don't, that's okay. You can go ahead and just type your description here. Make sure to include some keywords words uh, that have to do with what your video is about. You want to include those in your description as well as in your title. So once you've got your title in here, and as you can see in mine, I've got some links and then I've got a description of what it's all about. So let's just keep on scrolling down here. The next section we get to is the thumbnail. Here we can click on upload file to upload our own thumbnail if we have one ready. If you don't have one ready, YouTube will create one automatically. It'll automatically generate a thumbnail, but I strongly recommend that you create your own. I use a program called Canva to create my thumbnails and I've made a video on how to do that as well. I'll leave a description to that video below. But once you have your thumbnail created, you can just click on this to upload your file. You'd select your thumbnail and you'd upload it here. I'm just going to cancel out of there out of there for now. So here next you can select your playlist. So I've got two playlists set up for my channel. In this case, I don't want to add this video to either of those. So we'll just skip that for now. Next up, we have the audience and you have to select whether or not you've made the video for kids or not. For my videos, I always have no selected. I mean, kids could watch my videos, but my videos aren't made specifically for kids. So that's why I check no here. Uh, you can also select more advanced age restrictions if you want, uh, but I'm going to skip over that. I don't have to do that and we'll just click next. So the next thing, if you are monetized, you will have this monetization option next. If you're not monetized, this won't be here at all for you. If you want to monetize a video you're uploading, you would select that here and click on done. You can choose to place ads during the video. You can only do that if your video is at least eight minutes long. If it's not that long, this won't be an option for you here, uh, but I'll just leave that checked and I'll click on next. So the next thing, add suitability. Again, this is only if you are monetized and and what I usually do, since I don't have any foul language or dishonest behavior, uh, you can go through all of these, but I generally am able to check none of the above and then submit that for my rating. 
And now I'll click next. So the next thing is the video elements section. So this is where you can add your own subtitles. Now, I don't ever do this. In fact, this I believe is not even really necessary anymore because YouTube will transcribe your video automatically and create their own subtitles. But if you've done it yourself, this is where you can add them but I always skip over that. Add an end screen. I typically would import from a video because I've included an end screen before. But if you if this is your first time uploading a video, then what you would do is click on add here. And then here are our options. We can import from our latest video, which is what I mentioned I usually do. We can just add one video and one subscribe button, one playlist, one subscribe, and so on. There are several options here, but I'm just gonna go ahead and import from the latest video. And then what that gives me here is the video here and the subscribe subscribe button or avatar over here. Now for the video, I usually select best for viewer and I just leave it up to YouTube to select which is the best video for the viewer who just watched my video. You can also decide where or when you want these two to pop up. They can pop up any time in the last 20 seconds of your video. You can just simply click this and drag it back here if you want it to show for the full final 20 seconds. I typically don't. I just usually have it show up for the last five or six seconds or so. Okay, and when we're finished with that, we just click save. And then next is the cards. So you've, you've heard me say in this video, I've made a video before and I will leave a link above for you to click if you wanna go watch that video. So that link above, this is where you create that. So let's click on add. Once I've made a video, I will write down any, any times, like the minutes and seconds, of that video where I mentioned that I'm gonna create a link. What I then can do is I can go up here to video and then let's click on, maybe I want to refer to this video. So I selected that and then I would enter the, to the time. Let's say it was at two minutes and 20 seconds into the video is when I want that card to pop up. It adds this right here. This is the marker showing where that card will add, will show up. And I can place my playhead here and I can press play to actually watch the card pop up. And there it is, it's showing the card popping up there and then it disappears. If we're happy with that, we just click on save and then this section is complete. So after we're finished with the video element section, we'll click on next here and it goes to our checks. Let's take a quick look down at the bottom. We can see that this video is 54% uploaded. So the whole time we're, we're filling out this these forms, the video is uploading in the background and it says there's 14 minutes left in the upload. It can't complete the checks of the video. And when I say checks, I'm talking about copyright checks. YouTube is gonna check the video to make sure I'm not infringing on anybody's copyrights. Like if I'm using commercial music or video clips that are owned by somebody else, YouTube has very sophisticated algorithms that will go through my video and find anything that, that doesn't belong to me. Like a popular song, for instance, it will find it here. And if it does, it's going to give me a notification that there that there's copyright issues with my video. But we won't know that until the video has finished uploading and then the checks are complete. So we can leave this for now. It, it's going to do its thing in the background. Let's click on next. Now this is important. When you're uploading a video to YouTube, it's important that you don't have it go live right away. And that's because you wanna to check to make, make sure everything is okay with the video. Number one, you wanna make sure that the copyright checks have all completed and that everything is fine with your video because you don't want to get any copyright strikes. Because of this, I advise you to not check public here. If you select private, then nobody can see your video. The video is still uploaded to YouTube, but nobody except for yourself or anybody who has access to your YouTube studio, those are the only people that can see the video. I actually don't usually use that one. I'll use this one, unlisted. When I upload a video, I always check unlisted first. What that means is your video will not be searchable on YouTube once it's uploaded. Nobody will be able to find it. Even if they go to your channel's homepage, they won't be able to find that video because it's unlisted. It's still there, but what's different between unlisted and private is with unlisted, you can still copy the link to that video and send that link to whoever you want. And then people, those people, whoever you send it to can click that link and watch your video. So that's a safe way to upload your video if you don't want it to go live right away and you wanna check on it first. Another option here is members only. That's if you've created a membership to your, to your channel. Public, as I said, once it's uploaded, if it's set to public, it's immediately available to anybody and it's searchable, people can find it. They'll see it on your homepage, they can search for it and find it. So another option though is this schedule option. So when I mentioned I usually check unlisted, that's half true. <laughs> I'll either check 
choose unlisted if I don't know when I want to schedule the video for, or if I already know when I want to schedule it for, let's say two, three days from now, I will select the schedule option. And you can basically tell it when to automatically publish your video to the public. Today, as I'm recording this, it's January 2nd actually, so I'm gonna drop this down um, and I will select, let's say next Wednesday, okay? January 8th, you can select the time. Um, I usually select around 10 a.m., okay? And that would be your own time zone, so wherever you are. So again, you can either schedule it like this and give it a, a date far enough in the future that you'll have time to check your video, or go ahead and, and just select unlisted and you can just publish it whenever you're ready. Next, we are going to click on schedule and YouTube gives us a, a notice. We're still checking your video. The video is not finished uploading and therefore the checks have not completed. So let's just click on got it, video uploading. We can click on close. The video is not finished uploading. Uh, we've scheduled it far enough in advance that we can make any changes. How do we make those changes? So from YouTube studio, what you do is go over to content and here we can see at the very top the video that is uploading. We can see it's currently uploading. It's 73% uploaded. The visibility is pending and then monetization. We can click on that is set to on. This is where we could change that to off if we wanted to. And if you want more details, you can just hover over here and click on this details icon. And that'll take us right back into the video where we can make further edits if we want. We can go ahead and make changes to our title if we want. We can make changes to the description. And if we scroll down here, Let's go on down here. Again, we can upload our thumbnail now here if we want to. Let's go ahead and click on show more. If your video is uh, sponsored, if you have a brand deal, a sponsorship with your video, you should check this box here to indicate your video contains paid promotion, like a product placement sponsorship or endorsement. You should let YouTube know that right here by clicking this. Again, you should also disclose that in the description of your video as well, if that's the case. And then the next section here, altered content. Do any of the following describe your content? Makes a real person appear or say to say or do something they didn't say or do alters footage, etc. So basically AI, did you use AI to uh, artificially generate any part of your video? If you did, you should check yes here. Otherwise you can check no. Uh, I'll check no here. And whenever you make any changes, if you noticed this save button here um, just became highlighted because I made a change, I will have to click save here for those changes to take effect. But let's keep on going down here. Uh, you, you can select to have chapters created automatically if you want to uh, by checking here. Uh, featured places, help viewers explore key places in your video. You can keep that checked. Um, I typically do. Automatic concepts is an experiment. I'll just keep that checked. Now this is the next most more important thing, tags. You can see there's already five pre-entered tags. Uh, again, going back to my settings, I had these entered into my settings as predefined tags. If you have additional tags you want to enter uh, to help YouTube better locate the audience you're trying to reach with your video, um, then this is where you should enter those keywords, those tags. So this video is about storytelling, so I can enter some more like uh, tell better stories, that would be one, uh, storytelling, things like that. You can you can enter as many as, or not as many as you want. Uh, you have five a limit of 500 characters, okay? So go ahead and fill out your tags. You can select the language and caption certification here. Um, I just leave it to English, recording date and location. I don't usually set anything here with that. You can if you want to. If you want your video to be allowed, to be embedded in other people's videos. You can check that here uh, or publish to subscriptions feed and notify subscribers. So if you have subscribers and you want them to be notified that you just released a new video, then you would check that here. These just give more reach to your videos, which is a good thing. We keep going down here, shorts remixing. I usually have this checked to allow video and audio remixing. Category, I usually have how to and style selected, but you can select whatever fits your um, your video best. So how to and style. I could also select education, right? My videos tend to be more on the education side, but you choose whatever works best for you. Comments, I usually have my comments turned on, so I would select that here. But if you don't want people to be able to comment on your videos, you can turn that off by clicking, clicking off here. 
Um, you can also select uh, a comment moderator if you have that set up in your settings. Uh, and then if we keep going down, you can sort the comments um, top or newest, and then show how many viewers like this video. I have that checked. And that's it. When you're finished making all these changes, click on save. So we'll just give this a few minutes to finish the uploading. Meanwhile, let's go back to the channel content here. Let's wait for this to finish uploading. Once the video is finished uploading, YouTube then has to process it. And we can see here, it says processing will begin shortly. What the processing does is it creates, YouTube creates several versions of your video. So I created the video in 4K, okay? And, but not everybody's gonna be able to view it in 4K. If somebody's gonna watch a video on their phone, maybe on an older phone, and maybe they don't have a great internet connection, maybe a 720p is the best that they're gonna be able to watch the video. If that's the case, YouTube needs to have a 720p version readily available. And so what, what they're doing when they're processing the video is they're creating several versions. 4K version, 1080p, 720p, 480p, I believe it is, 360, whatever. Several different versions. So people will be able to watch the video in the most suitable aspect ratio and size that they can. Now we see checking, checking 1%, 2%. The video has been processed. Now it's checking for the copyright issues. And if any copyright issues are found, they'll be indicated right here where it says, it currently says checking for restrictions. So we'll just keep an eye on this. Now we see that the checks are all done and under restrictions, it says none. So we're good to go. So that's it. The video is uploaded. We have the visibility set to scheduled. If we are ready and we're happy with everything and we want to um, publish this video, then we can do that at any time. But what I would typically do is I would create a custom thumbnail, like I mentioned earlier. Uh, I'd go to Canva and I would create that thumbnail. I usually create my thumbnail while my video is uploading. Uh, I did not do that in this case, but again, I created a video on how to do that and I'll link to that above. Other than that, other than uploading a custom thumbnail, uh, and I can show you wh where you would go to do that at any time, uh, just click on details. That brings you back into the, the video. Um, as you can see here, it, it, it selected um, an auto-generated thumbnail. Okay, but we scroll down here. Uh, we can see here thumbnail is auto-generated. We can just click on here and upload any thumbnail that we want. Um, I can just pick one from a previous project here, here and click on open. And then that is how you would upload your own custom thumbnail. That's the same one that I, that I used uh, in my last video. Click on save. Let's go back to channel content and you can see it's the same thumbnail as that one. Uh, same video actually. So there you go. And then if I want to change the visibility, you know, I already set the date and the time for it to be uh, uh, set to public. You can always click on this down arrow here and you can just click here and click on public and save. And as soon as you do that, the video is live. Uh, but what I would suggest instead is that you actually select a date and the time and have it go live automatically. Okay. And that is how you upload a video to YouTube. I hope this video helped. If you have any questions at all, leave them in the comments section below and I'd be happy to answer them. If there's anything else you'd like to see me make a video on, also let me know below and I'd be happy to do that. That said, my name is Rob, Rob the Maritimer, uh, and I'll see you in another video. Thanks guys.